My 24F husband, 25M, has told me he wants a paternity test. I said no, so we got in an argument. TLDR. He asked me for one and now thinks I'm cheating because I told him no and I don't know how to deal. He just has recently got into a little bit of sexism likely and a few of his friends were cheated. On so they are all like telling each other stories and saying they think all babies should get tested. My husband asked me and I told him no because it's an insult. I'm 30 weeks pregnant and he's already badgering me about that and it's just distrustful. He now is convinced I'm cheating on him and that's why I'm refusing and he just won't stop this. Mood with me. How do I bring him around to see what an idiosyncratic he's being? I get the whole. It's insulting to even suggest. The idea was put into his head by. What I'm guessing given your post. Is a toxic friend group. But. It's in his head now. Refusing only hardens his belief that there is something to hide and his friend group is right. There are ways to deal with the situation. First. Is your way. Flat refuse and continue the argument which continually deepens his belief he is right. Second. Is to get the test. Let him see he and his friend group are wrong in your situation and try to move on without any. Further escalation. Third is to agree to the test but tell your husband that when it comes back that it's his kid you were right he was wrong and the fact that he refused to listen or trust you over his friend group will now become the issue and if he really wants to push it after that it just may lead to divorce and he can go on not trusting his next gf spouse and keep losing them over his bs so as you see there are definitely different levels and options that you can take the situation. It all depends on what you want to do. How far you want to take it. But. How to bring him around, now that it's fully in his head once you've refused. By getting the test done. There are two options in my opinion. And it depends how much this marriage is worth it. Only you can decide that. One if this marriage is worth salvaging from your perspective then. Just take the test this will not go away. His insecurities will only deepen by you refusing. He will get the test with or without you eventually. Saying it's insulting. And to refuse on principle. While within your rights. Will just harden his view even more. He has no way of truly knowing. Biological realities. And obviously your word doesn't seem to be enough if he's at the point of even asking you. In the end you're just prolonging the inevitable. Meanwhile deepening his insecurities. Logical or not. And your resentment. Justified or not. By the end. Your marriage will be over. Either by you or him or both. So. Honestly. Just get the test. Demand therapy to address his insecurities and why his friends were able to put his marriage at risk just by whispering in his ear. Do not let him off the hook and make sure he knows how much this hurt you. Or, two if you think the marriage isn't worth this insult. Then divorce him. Then he can get the test on his own. Either way, the test will happen. There's nothing you can do to stop that. So you alone can decide how this will play out. If you go the save the marriage route, you need to make sure he follows through on couples counseling and therapy so that this doesn't become a repeating pattern. He just has recently got into a little bit of sexism. This sentence got me reeling. Like it's a light hobby FFS. Yeah tell him you'll get the test only if he promises when it comes back that the kid is his. He will completely cut off his entire friend group and go to therapy for his sexist views. I'd get the test. He'll probably do it behind your back either way. Whether you want to stay with him after is up to you. Man Reddit just goes to nuclear options like divorce. Tell him. 1. Test. Then therapy and he cuts of the toxic group. Then judge from his response. A paternity test that proves that your husband is the father is no guarantee that infidelity has 
not taken place on your part or on his. It's not so much about the paternity but more about the breakdown of trust in your relationship. Obviously through no action of yours. If you do agree to do the paternity test, I'd insist that when the results show he is the father, that he then has to agree to counseling to deal with his trust issues if he hopes to continue with the marriage. If he refuses, then I'm afraid the marriage may be irrevocably broken. Because you can't trust that he's willing to deal with his own trust issues. Especially when there's no reason to doubt you. My deal, here would be. You get the test if he agrees to a full STD workup every six months. After all, trust but verify, right? If it comes back with him as the dad, he stops hanging out with his sexist friends who are trying to break the two of you up. And yes they are. If he balks at those, then he's the one with something to hide according to his own logic. There's a post on Reddit updates from a woman whose first post was similar to yours. She went through hell, even having more kids with him. He got worse and worse. Nothing was enough for him. Ended up leaving. He doesn't see the kids. You're best off cutting your losses now. The fact that he's even suggest this should really be all you need to walk away. Also there's no such thing as a little bit of sexism. Your husband is already down the red pill rabbit hole. He's chosen his toxic friends and this toxic community over you and your child. Turn it around on him. Many times those that are cheating will accuse their betrayed partner in hope they catch them or put them off of suspecting. Ask him if he is cheating since he is running around with newly single guys. Just tell him he can get the test and a divorce. That way you can show him you have nothing to hide but also that there's consequences to him. Distrusting you. For me, the fact he thinks you cheated is the end of the relationship. That's how I'd feel anyway. Personally, if it was me. I would take the test he is convinced that you have cheated. So you are never going to talk him out of it. Your refusals are only proving him right in his head. But, at the same time, I would also find myself a good lawyer and prepare myself for a divorce. When the test comes back that he is the father, that's when I would serve him. He doesn't trust you, not because of anything you have done. I'm assuming, but based on the biased opinions of a couple of knuckleheads, he places more trust in his friend's experiences over your word. Honestly, now that the seed of potential cheating has been planted, there's really no other way to make him believe you. Guys really have no way of knowing if a child is theirs 100%. If this is a deal breaker, I'd tell him he can have his paternity test and divorce papers. If it's not a deal breaker, he can still have a paternity test but he may still accuse you down the road after the child is born with his lovely group of friends whispering things into his ear. Ask him to get weekly STI tests, just in case. Do the test and when it turns out to be his, he can shove it. He can test the baby anytime he wants, after it's born, with or without your permission. Give him the test and a divorce filing. He feels the need to show he doesn't trust you and, in fact, to humiliate you when you are 30 weeks pregnant. You are never going to be good enough for him. If there is no trust there is no relationship. I love how his group of friends is called toxic. They had been cheated on so it's obvious they are angry. They might be toxic, but just from what is written the only thing that is sure in that their partners are toxic. Incidentally yes. All children should be tested for paternity. This would eliminate all this stupidity and no faithful couple would suffer as a result. Just tell you will give him this test he has already voiced his anxiety about it. Keep in mind anxiety is usually irrational. If you don't do this test it won't get anywhere. 
I am firm believer that child needs both parents so the one to most suffer as result of divorce will likely be child itself. Now of course if he is toxic and abusive outside of this incident it is something to consider. However if this is his first major breach then just give him what he wants. Women don't go through the same thing as men with his. You know the baby is yours. Men don't it's all faith. So I'd ask you to think about this as if you asked to go through his phone and he said no. When you inquire why he said you should trust him and he's hurt you asked. What would you do there? Everyone always makes this big deal about their hurt to have been thought to be doing something. Like this. But there is the other side. If your spouse is struggling and it's causing them distress. Wouldn't you just remove that if able? Turn it into a game or something. Make a bet on it. That isn't an ultimatum. I'll get the test but then if you do we divorce, is childlike and dumb in manipulation. I totally get your insult by his request but this has been planted in his head now and is clearly going to eat away at him. Telling him no is going to set all sorts off in his head. You know 100% the kid is his so where's the harm in proving it to put his mind at ease. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.